Good morning and welcome back. It's been a hot minute. It got to the point there where uploading on YouTube started to get scary again. We are back and we have a few fun days in London coming up. Guys, I'm going to New York soon and I'm so excited. For anyone who doesn't know, I used to live in New York for like two years and it was the best time in my life and my boyfriend's currently living there so I'm going over to visit him soon and I'm so excited. So this week I am picking up a nice little rental before I head off. I have an appointment or two and I'm going to a really nice restaurant with my friends, which has been on the list for a while. But I just wanted to quickly chat before we started heading into the week. I'm currently lathering myself in this Marish bronzing stick, which I love. I should come to you with some things I'm currently loving right now. In my videos, I would have a section that was like what I'm currently watching, reading, and listening to. Quickly came to realize that what I was listening to was of no service to you. Um, so then it became watching, reading, and like products I'm loving. And then I stopped reading, guys. I just hit a wall with my reading and I have not read in months. And I'm actually so upset about it. And for some reason, I just can't get back into it. I, I have had reading slumps in the past, but never one this long. And I'm not, I don't actually know how to get out of it. Like I've read the first page of many books now and they just like are all stacking up over here. So there's actually like a stack of books and they, they're being neglected. So if you've ever broken out of a big reading slump, please do let me know how you did it. So we're obviously gonna have no reading suggestions this time, but things that we're loving currently at the moment. Um, I just popped it on there, but this Merit contour stick is so nice. I think it just looks really natural. And then I love it paired with this uh, Westman Atelier blush, which is in the color. My camera body literally died while I was trying to figure out the name of this. It's Don Don, I think it's Don Don, but it's a really berry color and I think it looks so nice. I feel like in the past I wasn't very adventurous with trying new makeup products, new brands, this, that, the other. But I find with work you get exposed to much more brands and products and I'm like correlating such a nice little collection of favourites. So these are two of my big recommendations. Merit Bronzing Stick and the Westman Atelier Blush. Also, a bit rogue, but I got these last week and I've honestly been wearing them every single day. They are starfish earrings and I think they're so cute. I've been told I look like aquamarine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Probably not what I was going for, but that's okay. I got them from New Look. Is that not so random? I have one more recommendation for you guys and with it comes a good story. So I'll show the product first. This is the Money Mask and it's the collaboration of Chris Appleton and Colorwell. And you put on as a mask in the shower for like three to five minutes after you shampoo. So basically like how you'd use your conditioner, but all the way through. And oh my God, I understand why the name is money because you look like you have money when you come out of the shower. Since I've started to put like a little bit of blonde in my hair, these specific blonde bits like just fry up and they're nasty. They are nasty. God bless the women that bleach their hair. How is it not fried off? It's so impressive. There's a story as to how I got this in my hands though, so let me tell you. Firstly, we actually had Chris Appleton in work though, and we were shooting him for a segment for the show. And it's so crazy that is like semi-casual. Like, how is it semi-casual that I shot Chris Appleton? If you don't know who that is, he is Kim Kardashian and JLo's hairstylist. Anyways, that was cool. And that's a completely separate thing. But myself and Ellie, who's my little bestie in Sherlock's where I work, um, we're both videographers and we were shooting a mini mic of a lady in our work called Nana interviewing people on the red carpet at this LTK event, which was like... A real, a, like an influencer event. Also, sorry, am I shining bright like a diamond here? Why am I so overexposed? Oh my God. I don't know if it's really the look I'm going for, but <laughs> if you want this kind of glow, it is Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter that's all over my face. Whoa. Anyways, back to the story. Myself and Ellie were shooting the red carpet and it was absolute like bedlam. It was like a cattle mart. There was a line out the gap to stand for two seconds to get a picture and then it wasn't standing for two seconds to get a picture. Everyone would take 10 minutes to get their picture and it was just so slow and it was crazy and so yeah we got our footage and then we dropped off our equipment into the coat check and myself and Ellie joined the party and it was a such an experience. The venue for the event was at the Natural History Museum like the one with the big whale spine. And I haven't been there yet and it's like top of my list to go to. So it was actually so fun to go there and be there at night. Like we did a night at the museum. It was so much fun. There was different vendors there, which was really cool. So like Sculpted by Amy was there, which was really nice. It was lovely to chat to Amy. And then they had like Stanley Cups and this, that, the other, which is why I have this now. So if you're going to come for me, I'll knock you out with it. But 
it was a hilarious night and got one of these on the way out. But guys, who did I meet? Who did I meet there? There was plenty of people there. Who did I freak out over? Have you guys seen the traders? Because Paul from the traders was at the event. <laughs> Paul was like the villain of this season's traders. I turned to Ellie and I was like, if we don't leave this event without chatting to Paul from the traders, I'm gonna be so upset. So we went and chatted and we hit it off and got a really nice money mask on the way out. So, you know, not a bad day's work. One more thing for the list of what I'm loving is my new long sleeve top. I love the back of it. This is literally my first day wearing it, but it's from the brand Scuffers. And they're kind of like a cool skateboardy brand, I would say. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm seeing one more thing I want to show you. Since Christmas, I have been obsessed with the Tom Ford glasses. I forget the name of them, but they're like so bougie and mega. It has been an open tab on my computer, even though obviously I'm never going to be paying 500 for a pair of sunglasses. But I found this in and other stories. I am such a fan of them. I think they're so cool. I think they are OTT, but I mean, so am I. You may have noticed in my last Irish video that we were saying goodbye to Amy, who was working in Coffee Shop in Goy. Amy is my boyfriend's little sister and she has just moved to London and she's working in a cafe shop in London. So we are gonna go visit her now, Cafe Vins. She said it's a really cool coffee shop, so really excited to try it. So they're quite new. I think they're only open like six months and meant to be very cool. So let's see what it's like and you'll have to go in and visit and obviously say hi to Amy if you go visit. Of course, I find Michelle taking pictures of herself. <laughs> of course. What a First thing that needs to be addressed. Oh, okay. Are you air wrapping over there? Yeah. <laughs> First thing that needs to be addressed is the fact that I have two different size hoops on today. Sometimes it's extremely noticeable, sometimes it's not noticeable at all. Lovely Sroop de Doo has invited me to an event. <laughs> Need to quickly refresh, so changing the earrings and I have to show you some really cool makeup products. These are my new little babies. The first thing is the minimalist complexion stick. It's basically like concealer and it has this little top and it's not like usual concealer where it's like super slippery and liquidy, it's quite thick. It's been a long day today in the office, so we have a lot to cover up. <laughs> I'm saving this brush purely for this stick. I'm not mixing it in with my foundation. But who is she? She did not just work a whole day. I literally love this stuff so much. And last but not least, instant glow serum, which I'm going to put all over my hands because I've just changed tops. Changed the earrings, feeling so much fresher already. I wouldn't usually be like the biggest concealer fan, but I really rate that complexion it's stick. Dark, no. Yeah, very see. nice under your eyes. You do look like literally fresh. Rejuvenated, and I was not fresh earlier, so I do have a discount code as well for Merit products. So we'll leave a link below. And yeah, happy shopping. Happy shopping. Hello, good evening. I am actually heading um, to dinner this evening at a spot I've wanted to go for ages called Tom's Pasta. Um, a little bit of trek, but that's okay. I'm gonna go for dinner with two of my best friends that I used to live with in New York. I don't see them often enough, so it's actually a really nice bit of quality time, hopefully a bit of good food. I've heard their lasagna is really nice. We'll get back to you with a review. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hi Sarah Carol. I'm on the vlog. You're on the vlog, babe. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> the girl that they Oh 
on my home now after dinner and can confirm Tom's pasta is very good. Definitely a spot to go to if you're in the area. All the starters we had were stunning. We had some pastas then and lasagnas for main course. Lasagnas lived up to the hype. Really good. However, pastas, not a bit of me. You know when the pasta is a little bit too al dente and it's basically a little bit chewy? Mm -hmm. That was the vibe, so go for the lasagna. Take it from me. Hey guys, I am on a little adventure. I have my bags with me, but I'm hopping into a shop here now on Broadway Market called Wrights, and it's a rental company. I flip and love rental companies for like occasion wear. I'm going to New York on Tuesday. So Wrights are kindly giving me something to bring. I actually have used Wrights before for our Christmas party and work. Um, I wore a Ghani navy dress and it was so gorgeous and I loved it. So they're gifting me a piece. I'm so excited. And this is Broadway Market and it's literally my favorite part of London. that I haven't been uploading on YouTube very much so a little bit of a backlog I've been back on my YouTube editing grind and I've been really enjoying it jumping back in time even if it's a couple of months I feel like I'm going like entering into these little time capsules of cute memories so I'm currently editing the New York video shock horror I've been to New York had a few life changes actually living in a new apartment now so all of that's to come in future videos so make sure you subscribe I love you all thank you for being here thank you for being patient most importantly, hope you enjoyed the video and I see you very, very soon.